2023 ECC Girls Lacrosse Champions head coach Phil Schneider. And my, I'll start with give that a grade, A to A to A minus. How good is that effort right there? A to A minus. That's the only range. You if you're saying that's a B plus, then I gotta say the rest of the state's got something to look out for. But tell me what's left in the tank after that effort. Well, there's always things to work on. There's always things to get better at. You know, we this was one of the things that we wanted, one of our goals that we had for this year. But you know, we want to go far in the state tournament too. So that's what we're building for right now. So yeah, I mean, we've talked about effort all season, and I think the girls give the best effort they can every game. And you know, today it, it showed up big for us too. You know. You know, a lot is made of your offense, your team's speed is outstanding, but your defense, and you know, you have a great goalie, but your defense held a very good Stonington team to by far their lowest output of the year. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, how your team plays goalie out defensively? Yeah, I mean, we've got great seniors that play in there. Four, four of the five defenders are seniors, and we have a junior playing the other one. Um, they bought into our zone a defense last year at the end of the season. We got real good at it. Uh, we came back this year with the same mindset, and they, they just play well together. They challenge the ball. They, they know where the holes in the defense are so they can cover up for themselves, and they work well together. It's got to be all five of them working together as one, really, to be effective that way. Your team speed was evident tonight. I mean, you guys, your depth, everyone really moving the ball. Are you at your best when the tempo is like that? And is there a gear above even this, or, or is this kind of like where you'd like to see your team play? We, we I, you know, when, when I started coaching girls across a few years back, you know, we always wanted to push the ball. I thought it was a much more exciting game that way, and that's how we go after it. I mean, if we can beat a team in transition, we're much more happier that way. You know, we want to play teams in the mid-teens, 15, 16 goals, as opposed to playing 8, 9 at a time and kind of grinding it out. But we did that this year, too, and we did it well in a couple of situations. So we're, we're much, I'm much happier when we're up-tempo when we're running with the ball, and it, and it shows how we can get ahead of teams that way. Challenging out of conference schedule this year, and, and you met, you know, all challenges. Very competitive in your one loss against Cheshire. Now you head into the states, you know, battle tested. Uh, what do you think that out of conference schedule does for you heading in as the number one seed? Yeah, I mean, we always want to play those tough out out of conference games. Um, I. Didn't, at the beginning, didn't think we would win as many as we did, but we showed up in those situations. We'll see a couple of those teams down the road in states, and they'll be looking to get back at us, so we've got to come prepared to, to play hard. But, yeah, I mean, it, it does make us better. You know, win or lose, we get better in those games. Well, back to work tomorrow, but tonight celebrate another ECC championship for the East Lyme Vikings. Congratulations.